Hi, I'm Martin Lorando. I'm Davis Cup captain for Canada. I'm trying to stay on top of things, try to get the pulse for where our guys are at, uh, watching their practices, uh, working with their old coaches, uh, watching their matches, scouting the opponents, watching all of, their, all of their matches and try to pick up some things and putting together, start, uh, you know, putting the, the dots on the eyes for the, for the final um, stages of rounding up here and, and, and getting a week of practice and then, uh, and then the, the event. I love uh, the fact that it's a team sport, that it's different from from what this sport is all about. It's it's uh, it's branded and it, it, it is a singles game basically, unless you're specialized in doubles. But it's um, predominantly uh, a, a sport where it's two players go at each other, and, and this event is about team. It's about a country. It's about uh, the depth of the players. It's about uh, a long weekend, a lot of matches, and. It's a lot. It's a lot more complex, and uh, I think it brings out more um, to the game than than a, a singles match somewhere on tour. That it's, uh, I think it's it's one of the toughest tests for for tennis players to go through. Um, when you play for your country, there's there's added responsibilities. You're probably on TV. You're being looked uh, looked at from from coast to coast, and you're playing for Canada and when they call the score, they don't call your name, they call they, they say the word Canada and, and, it, and it does resonate um, through you and, and you realize, geez, I'm, you know, I'm not playing for myself, this is for, for the team, this is for, for the other players, this is for the fans and, um, you know, this, this is what separates Davis Cup from other competition. My first Davis Cup as captain, my first Davis Cup as a player, as a coach. Uh, ironically, like some of our worst moments are probably some of my favorite stories. Um, there's always incredible things happen to us, uh, usually on the road, uh, that are pretty annoying and intense when you go through them. But then, you know, 15, 20 years down the road, you kind of look at them and you, you kind of you have a smile, you know, that you can't believe those things happen to us. And, you know, they're kind of funny after a while.